Hello boys and girls. Welcome to another STEAM activity. My name is Cheryl Spann. I am your STEAM instructor at the Boys and Girls Club and today I am here to present to you table setting. A lot of us probably trying to figure out what I mean by table setting. It is how we set our tables before we get ready to eat supper and it is a correct way to do it for its place setting. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the items that you're going to need is a napkin, a plate, a cup, and you're going to need some silverware. And I have here a knife, a spoon, and a fork. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to, um, take our napkin and a lot of us we have fancy ways that we can do the napkins to um, some take it and fold it nicely and wrap their um, silverware in it but today we're just going to take a napkin and fold it in half to make a triangle shape and we're going to place it to our left on our left hand side then we're going to take our plate and once we get that, we're gonna sit it next to our napkin on the left-hand side. Let's turn this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we have our napkin and we have our plate. Now we need to find out what order are we supposed to put our silverware in. And how we're gonna go about doing that is, we're gonna remember it's called the fork meth method. So that way you know which direction that it go. The F is for fork. The O is for crossing over. And the R is for your um, knife and your spoon. Okay? So, with that order being said, first we're going to take our fork. And we're going to place our fork on our napkin. Just like that. Okay? So then after that, we're going to cross over the plate and we're going to take and place our knife right next to the plate. Okay. And after that, we're going to take our spoon and we're going to place it right next to the knife. I don't know if you can see that too good because my silverware is black. But let me, let's use this. Um of the silverware that I have here and you'll probably be able to see it a lot better. Uh, I don't have it. Okay, we'll have to just go with the black. So we're gonna take our knife and sit it there and we're gonna take our spoon and put it there, okay? So then we got one other item that we need to place and that item will be our cup that we drink out of, okay? And it will go directly above your knife and your spoon. Okay, and that is the way that you would set a table. And whenever mom is cooking, you can ask her if you can go and set the table. So that way, um, it would be nice and pretty when you get ready to serve dinner. And with this, you have to place a place setting in front of every chair. So if you have four people at your table, you should have at least four plates with silverware sitting in front of each chair that that person is going to sit in, okay? So that way you know that everybody has silverware and a plate and a cup in front of their chair. And all they have to do at that point is when food is served, you know, say your grace and then you can eat. Alrighty. Again, this is the correct way to do a place setting at a table. We're going to run through it again. Your items you'll need is a fork, a spoon, a knife, a plate, a cup, and a napkin. And we will fold our napkin in half to make a triangle shape. And then we would take our plate and sit it next to the napkin. We would take our fork and put it on the left-hand side on top of our napkin. We will cross over the plate and place our knife and then next to our knife we'll place our spoon and right above your knife and your spoon you would take and put your cup okay 
Alrighty, that concludes this episode of Place Setting. And again, my name is Cheryl Spann and I am the STEAM instructor at the Boys and Girls Club. And I hope you enjoyed this um, video today. And be in there and ask your mom, could you set the table for supper tonight? Alrighty, have a good day. Bye.